Hey, yo, check this out. This is Wayne Wonder, representing for Warwicka Hill TV. You see the vision, don't you? See the vision, Warwicka Hill TV. Keep it locked. These are the issues that we need to address. We need to address. You understand what I said? You understand what I said? You understand what I said? Set the bar for the youth. For the youth. Share, like, and subscribe, and stay tuned to the channel. I know you are all this. Yes, I, brothers and sisters. Greetings once again in the mighty name of His Imperial Majesty, Emperor Eilis Selassie the First. And all things good and wonderful amongst us and about us. You know, see, welcome viewers and subscribers. Viewers, if you like the content, subscribe and make go to the platform. See? No, it's not one in particular. Why you like it? See? So that you can get another stream and more Jamaican get to see, more people get to see. That one you need people. You know, see? That one you need, that one you education. You know, see? So, what we are observing the airline industry's treatment towards Jamaican discrimination, discriminatory. No. I man can Google it if you know one and the item can do it. But I man now explain discrimination to me in our own words. Telling the difference between two different entities, two separate entities. That's one definition. Now the most critical definition is treating somebody different because of race, gender, religion, and such the like. You understand me? That's discriminatory. Officially across the world by UN standard and all of them think that it's a crime. You see, in a Jamaica it's a crime. Now employers and everybody, um, as the various organizations get away with it because our lack of education. Now ignorance to it. When we say ignorance, we don't mean say a man mad or get violent or thing like that. We mean not having knowledge. Like first hand knowledge, you don't know. It's not your fault. Lot of things I am ignorant about Jamaica and Jamaica. You know, see, so this is no disrespect. See, you no, know, I'm an observer thing with the airline industry regarding Jamaica for a while now, and I'm a drop some um reference comparison. See, you know, like discriminate, and I discriminate, see, and observe discriminating discrimination against I and I. See, now I and I discriminate the, 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 the difference between the distance from Yasa to Australia and also the plane fare to both places. You know, see, so watch a little video here, a little illustration. It no, not the best um, quality, but watch a little video and we could get back to it. Yes, I. Yeah. Greetings, my brothers and sisters. You don't know. Man, not so technologically uh, adept. <laughs> So, I'm not showing you the best way we can. See? So, we are looking at now, we are looking at the distance from the UK to Australia by air. And it's an estimated flight time 16 hours. See? Kilometer 130, 13,025 kilometer. Miles. 80,093 miles. Nautical miles, 70,033. I don't know if you all get the same ratio with Jamaica still. But we are going to check anyway. See? Yes, yeah, so now we are up on Jamaica. Open the can hear me clearly. We are up on Jamaica. Um, ocean. Now the flight that distant. Australia, distant to Jamaica. Yeah, come up from Jamaica now. Flight distance, 7,352 kilometers. Seen? 8 hours and 16 minutes. Seen? 4,563 miles. Um... When I said the nautical miles on this, it don't matter that much still with the point where we are trying to make. We want to see it, see the full self, Google search. See, now we are looking on the average 
playing field to Australia. See? See the cheap flights to Australia. Average playing field of £1,500. You know, £1,400 and them way there. See? From Manchester, London, from Birmingham. See? Now we are looking on the same thing now with Jamaica. See? See there? London, 1,474 pounds, 1,194 pounds from Manchester, from Birmingham, 1,493 pounds. So, there is not much variation with the, with the, um, with the airfare. You know, see, but as compared to the distance, see, not much variation. 100 pound difference, you can get a cheap flight to one and probably, you know, 300 pound cheaper, 200 pound cheaper. But it's not a great difference compared to the distance. You know, see, we don't know how that work. I'm on the full stand how that work. I don't know if nobody worked that out. And how comes our country you now make representation on the behalf of common citizens like ourselves who are not tourists. You know, expats who live abroad, people who they rely upon when it comes to election time and things like that. You know, all them to make lobby so the airline industry who have so much consideration and compassion for the um, Australians, you know, but for particular us from the Caribbean who's trying to, who, you know, trying to go back home for a visit. We have to pay extortionate price. We have to pay the price where the Australian them pay for go home. You know, see it. Um, yeah, 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 I hope this little um, illustration here makes sense. So, we'll, bat it, we'll, 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 we'll fix it up and reason it out some more in a, in a, a proper video, you know, see it. So, yeah, we give thanks. Yes, sir. Yeah, my brother. You see, you see, you see the whole thing. You know, see, a Google. You can Google search it yourself and do the research. You know, see, you know, see the intent. You know, see, and all the while we get it right, like we always declare, but the intent is pure. You know, see. Now, what I want to wonder to myself, I know almost sometimes we have to look on it from various perspectives to eliminate any um, innocence or, you know, see if we can create an alibi for them themselves. You know, see. So, one of the reasons that we are looking on is we are wondering if. Going to Jamaica, the plane, them have to fly uphill. Yeah. It look like it's an uphill journey all the way. So them burn more petrol and put more pressure upon the engine and things like that. Yeah, because how else we can look upon it? If this is a discrimination, what kind of car that guy will draw? Say, Jamaica hata so the plane go and go through more pressure. What are the reasons for this, brothers and sisters? Why? How our... Alright. The corporation in Jamaica, the tourist industry will benefit mainly off of them sort of plane rider. People have to take plane come to Jamaica. How? With the power of them have, yeah, for quieting the UN's um, research conclusion that... Um, them build up some five star hotel in the middle of um, inner cities and things like that. And the UN couldn't get for published. That's you matter call the while. See, them is that powerful because a very vibrant and rich industry, one of the most popular tourist um, destinations that on the planet. We know. I just we alone with them and I see the benefit I can see the benefit. I, you know see how comes them big top powerful industry now come together as a Jamaica Tourist Union, then something like that, and demand 
better airfare and flight for you know people who have come visit the island you see i mean you don't have support they would have support because the industry, the tourist people, our common people like myself, we are common Jamaica, same way. You see? Plus, it's a benefit I and I, you know, the diaspora, or would I love no say, we can come home for a holiday now and then. What kind of extortionate price them here? The thief in British Airway, Virgin, and all of them. All of them. What kind of explanation them have for this? You know, see? And if there is one, I woefully in the dark and validly so because oh you explain Australia then oh you explain the price and distance to Australia you know see no leave off of the business people them where I do for them thing and then I make for them money anyway because right you know even this year 2022 um summer hotel season sell off at Jamaica sell off and them can't deny that you know see so regardless of high prices sell off same way but one to the government who's supposed to work in our interest now watch for this election year you all see whole heap of tour and foreign uh, ministers i come check people for the from the diaspora for them input and them contributions and things like that rasta them do it every election no oh them them them, them, them them not, them, them not observe, them not know what it costs the regular man for come to Jamaica. Isn't it something to be looked at? Something to be investigated? Something of a, you know, you know, from a, a, a national level? You know, you're not supposed to leave this to just the consumer because, again, this is a blatant sabotage to the Jamaican tourist industry, which is which the economy is reliant upon. You know, see, and business espionage is a criminal act again. You know, see, so all of the big airline industry exploit Jamaica and a mash up Jamaica tourist market. And it's not like you can say them not have ulterior motive because most of them is not Jamaica national. Most of them, for them country, have them own. Um, you know, it, tourism a go on as well. That does not excuse the lawlessness of the action of the exploitation. You know, see, regardless of where anybody might think, Rasta, you know, see, there is no excuse for them, them level of uh, uh, vi vi variant there eh, between with prices. You know, see, um there is no excuse i don't think there is any excuse and it's 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 a concern of our ministers them and prime ministers them and politicians them in jamaica kind of pick up on that not so much the business people them because like i said them already are evil and pick pound of flesh them satisfy you know see and like i said the international support would be there because of the common people them from abroad and them see them one a a a a a a pay the price and if Jamaica for point out um, evidence like these where I'm on just point out, yeah, the airlines have no nah, nah, footing for stamp on. You know, see it in terms of business and fair trade. They nah, nah, footing for stamp on. You know, see it. So, we don't understand how Jamaica just stay silent on that one so for so many years. And even if so, be the case and we're uneducated and ignorant as to the cause for this it should be something we always depend on the forefront then where we, so that's where we are like a reminder keep reminding us say this is the reason why you know see because the plane of a fly uphill are jamaicans fatter than normal people them heavy are them carry more luggage than other people so the plane heavy or whatever however rasta you know see because i usually them sort of thing there it it, it wind down to wear and tear um fuel cars and staffing and things like that you see so you know a valid question them there and i think what we need for no rasta and a response to them thing that i shouldn't something where a people ask what politician them for bargain for better for we you know see on our behalf you get what me i say
But at the end of the day, we know what going on, you know. We know so our politicians, them, the lobbyists, them just come to them and give them for them pound of flesh and make them keep quiet, keep them quiet. They know so they know to say certain things. Even if them see it, I'm going to try to point it out. Because the public now aware of it. Or, you know what I say? But at a different time now, and the time for actually a change. I mean, I hope all of the items them share this with every Jamaican. So I say, ask you better. I'm sure you're supposed to can call the airline company them. We have flights to Australia and have flights to Jamaica and compare the price them to them. When you make a deal, Rasta, and make them know, say, wait, what do I do? Why? Explain to me why. You know, see, that if a guy can't explain to you why, make him know straight say, exploitation that. A matter of fact, I go and try it tomorrow and see how it works and see here where what where them have to say what a airline have to say for themselves or a travel agent. You know see, cause you know that wrath with obvious unfair to Rasta. You know, and it, we naive too much and accepting of people's definition and characterization of us. That's even when them are exploit us. You know, we allow them to do it because of that we deserve. Nobody don't deserve this under the sun or a star. You see it? We don't care no more weight than nobody. We don't no more threat to the flight than nobody else. You see it? It come like we have to pay added insurance. Or we have to pay for acceptance. We have to pay a double. A double we pay a double. A double we pay a double. Rasta. Anybody we got Jamaica have to pay a double. You know, see, because obviously, you know, I don't wish I'll, we don't have to look into no other country neither. Like the Canada and America and them things. We know half price them are going to pay compared to the, 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 the mileage for God Jamaica. You know, see, and we don't need to look at other African country based on the treatment of us. We so forward in them presence, in them face. We know so that are true. Airline now have nothing to do with tourism. Tourism now nah, take one of business from it and make business fail. So in any case, airline should at least discount the price more for go to them destination, yeah? Because it's a constant business stream. You know, see? So nowhere is this understandable, Rasta. Nowhere is this understandable apart from purposeful exploitation and this discriminatory exploitation. You know, see? And we can't have it no more. We have to talk about this. We need to have some more conversation about this, Rasta. You see, anyway, we give thanks once again, Rastafari.